You know what is this? No. It is a helpful resonator after this guy. Helpful resonator. The helpful resonances depend on the volume of the, uh, of the cavity. The volume right here is from the level of the liquid to the neck and the, and the, neck, the size of the neck as well. So I can change the pitch of this resonator by changing the volume. I'm going to change the volume. Now, you can make a full instrument with different notes by having various bottles fill at different levels of water and then play tinkle tinkle little star or whatever you want. Now, so you know what is this? No. It's a Helmholtz resonator. It's a Christmas ornament only during Christmas, but otherwise the rest of the year <laughs> is a Helmholtz resonator. Uh, Helmholtz reson resonators are very interesting because <clears throat> they are, you can think of, of them as, as a spring, like in the, the volume in the, in the cavity, and a mass. What the, uh, a plug of air oscillating right at the neck. So what this guy is doing is essentially what the plug of air is doing right at the neck of the Helmholtz resonator. Now when you have fluid in motion, there is a reduction of the pressure. So in a Helmholtz resonator, uh, you would have, I guess I can erase turning it, right? I'm Helmholtz now. Uh, you would have a cavity like so, and the, the fluid is oscillating on the neck, and there is a pressure reduction. Where pressure is reduced in the fluid, the fluid tends to go there from high regions, for high uh, pressure regions to low pressure regions. So air is gonna move into the neck, like so. Now, comes into the neck and sees a uh, region of high pressure again and shoots out with, as a jet. So I'm gonna show you that effect. I'm gonna show you that effect with with this candle, not the paper, <laughs> um, with this candle right here. Oh my, I might have a problem here. Does anybody have a fire extinguisher? Yeah, <laughs> it's called a blowing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can you all see the flame? Yes? Okay. Now, I'm going to turn uh, <clears throat> this cavity. So what's that? Resonance. Okay. So I'm going to just increase the, the, uh, the sound level. So I'm essentially making these oscillations very large and so it pushes even more air. You see the deflection of of the of the uh, plane? You see that? Okay, now I'm going to extinguish it because uh, when I close this cavity, the, uh, the resonant frequency is going to take on larger, uh, I mean the sound level is going to be a larger amplitude because that frequency in this cavity is resonant to this cavity and by closing it I have no losses or I reduce the losses that is. And so the amplitude of the sound is going to be bigger now inside the cavity. So pay attention to the flame. Okay, that's distinguished it. There is another demonstration that goes along with this one. So I have two Helmholtz resonators, and they are, one is uh, pointing that direction, this other one is pointing this direction, and, and both of them should have their corresponding jet in action, right? And if I <coughs> mount my two Helmholtz resonators on, on a pivot and there is uh, the, the bearings right there 
allow for that kind of motion. Actually, let me start it this way. So I'm going to start it the opposite direction. 